Next, let's talk about water in Texas. Water is the most important natural resource in Texas. We rely on water found on the surface and underground. Texas has over 1.26 million acres of fresh water in lakes, ponds, and reservoirs. There are an additional 2.1 million acres of water in the bays and estuaries along the Texas coast. There's still more water in Texas's 191,000 miles of streams. Texas is second only to Minnesota in the surface area of lakes and reservoirs and second only to Alaska in total volume of fresh water. Over three quarters of the state sets over an enormous underground aquifer. Texas bubbles with about 3,000 springs, including some of the largest in America. Texas is also unique in not having just one or two large rivers like most states. We have over 3,700 streams that feed into 15 large river systems. Texas rivers provide water for our personal use, agriculture, communities, recreation, transportation industry, and fish and wildlife. If Texas is so rich in water, though, why should we be concerned about its conservation? Well, the answer is that some parts of the state are water rich, while other parts of the state have very little water and they can be affected by drought. For example, South and West Texas could be very dry, even when other parts of the state may be very wet. El Paso, on the extreme western edge of the state, is part of the Chihuahuan Desert and usually receives less than 10 inches of rain per year, while Port Arthur is on the eastern edge and can receive more than 60 inches of rain per year. Most of Texas has modest rainfall, however, compared to the rest of the country. Several years of low rainfall can leave entire parts of Texas without water. In addition, People can cause harm to the water in lakes and rivers by pollution and careless use. This, in turn, harms aquatic resources such as fish and can make water undrinkable and useless for recreation. To protect our water resources, we must use them wisely.